Good day, my beautiful friends. Alex in the house. Great to see you, Alex. TIO Aviation. Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. Even the aroma is closed right now. I don't even know if they're open. Probably gonna probably gonna stay closed and see. Doesn't say. I'll close on close today. D Gilmore, hey D Gilmore, great to see you. Happy Good Friday, happy long uh, Easter weekend. Christine Rigo Places Tours, good morning. You were just watching the rainy walk. Great to see you here, and you're up early. Even uh, maybe it's um just automatic. Great to see you up early, even though it's uh, Good Friday, so. Great to see you, Christine. Glad you were watching the rainy walk. Cypher Gaming, great to see you, brother. Shouts out to Cypher Gaming and Elizabeth. Wesley, morning, Wesley. You're up early, too. But no school, I would imagine. It's a four-day weekend here for students. East Carolina Lynn, great to see you here. Yeah, your internal clock, clock, Christine. At least your son gets to sleep in and you don't have to wake up your son and you can just not have to uh, get a break from driving. We are in Johnny Stridesville. I hope Don Johnny doesn't mind. Young and Eglinton. Yeah, I would imagine you have a four-day weekend too, Wesley. Charity Cassie, good morning. Great to see you here. Yeah, Alex, yeah. Those four-day weekends sure were great. The Easter long weekend. There's a rooftop, there's a patio you can go up there. I don't know if they'll open today actually, but. Wow. Yeah, this guy, this that was that guy's fault. I don't know why he was crossing against the red. Cars had to ride away that time. Well, at least this intersection, Chatty Cathy, yeah, it's finally, uh, at least crossing is not a pain like it used to be. Um, but who knows when line five will actually open. But yeah, it's such a nice uh, type of regular. It's, it's opened up a couple of months ago and finally. Good time to watch the Kilmo right on. And great to see you again, Deke. Dylan, hello, great to see you here, Dylan. See, um, we didn't get a, didn't really get a sunrise. DVS, good morning to you. Uh, I'm not gonna wait. As you can see, hardly any traffic. Most folks have the day off. A lot are out of town. Okay, you could be sure this 7-Eleven will be open. 24 hours. Burgers Priest, Pla Cabana. Making the bird breakfast. All right, Christine, we go. Christine, we go making the bird breakfast. Look at the young Eglinton Center. So we're on our way, walking here from Young and Eglinton, and we're gonna go. So it'll be a combination of a bit of a city walk and a urban walk. We're gonna head our way to the uh, bot botanical gardens. 
Oh uh, yeah, Jelly not. Uh, oops. Oh, might as well. Wait to see you all here, my wonderful friends. Cheers to you. Happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. Cattleman's Bacon. Good morning, Nikki's experience. Great to see you here. Anna Kay, good morning to you. Well, you won't find a shortage of places uh, to eat anyway. A and W. There used to be Starbucks right here, but they said uh, something's coming soon. When when did it? Not soon enough. This sign has been here for a long time. And a lot of ugly graffiti. That's right, Anna. Nice and early today. Yeah. So glad, glad you can be here. Snakes and lattes. and mingle, make some friends. Oh, is that a new Tim Hortons? Look how tiny that Tim Hortons is. So tiny. Oh, Tim Hortons. Bell building. Tiny Tim Hortons. <laughs> yes, I forgave him. It, it might have been there for a while. I didn't notice. Maybe I didn't notice. A Tim bit of a Tim Horton, yeah. <laughs> East Carolina Lynn. Maybe I maybe I didn't notice it because it's so tiny before. I just wish this, this guy could show up better. Uh, anyway, Istanbul Kebab House. This is the Eglinton Avenue East in Dunfield. I worked out there a few times at Good Life. Oh, there's a bulk barn here. Cool. I know our awesome friend Mara, Mara was saying that she wishes there was a buck barn in UK or something similar. What a nice change of pace, not have to deal with all the cars, humans. As you can see, it's pretty dead. I would imagine the subway is, would be as well. This uh, orange theory, uh, really cool. It is a little bit more expensive, but I have friends that work out. I guess they're closed. Their thing is about uh, classes. I don't know. Not great classes. How about here at Starbucks? Made your coffee, Christine. Now you can enjoy the walk. Here we go, Christine. Like I said, we're walking from Eg Young and Eglinton to the uh, Botanical Gardens. So that will take, um, th that's gonna take about, it's gonna take a little over an hour. <laughs> Chatty, Christine, I think your coffee just want Chatty Kathy. 
reminding Charlie Cats to get some coffee. I hope Bloom is shaping up to be a really nice day. Unfortunately, though, we didn't get the, the clouds from covering the sunrise, but hopefully Bloom's Copacabana. So again, we're walking uh, east on the south side of Eglinton, Eglinton Avenue East. Gotta love that green, um, see what's coming up, the Harp Tavern. One of my good buddies, as well as one of Boom's good buddies is trying to get that open up. Just waiting for permits really it's been up for quite some time see we gotta love the, the exterior for quite some time just waiting for uh, just waiting for permits a coffee bar can be a bugger to wait for the permits Eglinton and Red Path. Yeah, Christine. I want to sleep in. And thank goodness too because if this was um, a regular day, there'd be constantly cars going by. All you uh, uh, new Jamaican place in downtown Niagara, Christine? In, in downtown Niagara. That is exciting. I guess you definitely pay um, much less lease being downtown Niagara instead of in the actual falls or near. Cypher Gaming says the store's upper windows beside Rudy look like um, a keyboard. Let's see. How did I miss that? I've heard Johnny's a big fan of Rudy's. This is a uh, really awesome uh, grocery store, but it can be a little bit pricey. Oh, St. Catharines, yeah, I should have, still early, I should have figured that out. Because if you didn't mention Niagara, I should the default should have been St. Catharines. <laughs> My apologies. Downtown St. Catharines, the new Jamaican place. Hey, enjoy Nantucket, great to see you here. Good morning. Oh, this is great, man. This. I hate, I hate walking when, when there's a constantly cars coming. And that can't, that must be annoying to listen to too when there's constantly cars coming, but. Approaching Mount Pleasant. Edmonton Avenue East in Mount Pleasant. future in Mount Pleasant Station. Yeah, 
Yeah, Cypher Gaming. Most people are, most humans are off work. It's a nice change of pace. Almost feels like a early Sunday morning, sort of. This is kind of how it's like an early Sunday morning. Hey, Zach, good morning. Is this guy gonna turn or what? What are you doing? Turn, man. Fucking wake up. So that I can go. <laughs> now there, there sure would have been a, a lot of folks that definitely went out of town for sure. Yeah, that's annoying. The guy obviously was distracted. Just, just go, man. He had a clear, clear path to go. Sure, no sketchy person following me. I have seen some zombies out this morning. Hey, good morning, David Bangor, Maine. Great to see you here. The you know, walk-in clinic. Oh, actually, no. Like, like, there used to be a walk-in clinic. I guess that's not no more. Yeah, you'll see a lot of older apartment buildings uh, as we walk here. Human. Another human. Leave me alone. Go away. So Young Eglinton is demographics can... It's a very uh, younger demographic. However, there are definitely a lot of older folks who live in a lot of these apartment buildings. So, very interesting mix. Oh yes, uh, happy, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Happy uh, the big 60, happy 60th birthday, Dave in Bangor, Maine. My goodness, wow. That is quite a milestone, 60. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy sir birthday to you, Dave, and many, many more. Our great friend, Dave in Bangor, Maine. Cheers. Oh, there we go, at least now on the main camera, the sky is showing properly you now. Started doing live streams himself. People waiting for the bus for me, I'll just walk. If you're able bodied. There we go. All righty then.
Or maybe, maybe Buddy had the right idea. Bus is coming. Two of them. Brad Palmer, superstar Brad Palmer, great to see you. Superstar Brad Palmer. Brad, I really apologize for, uh, I did watch your fantastic premiere. I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to go in the chat. It's kind of a crazy busy day yesterday, but what a fantastic premiere. Yeah, sure looks nice, Cypher Gaming. Now we can see the sun. Triple seven, good morning. You live in Ohio and starting your own channel. I'm using the, just as you asked that, after we start, I'm using the Insta360 Flow. It's got a built-in selfie stick and a built-in tripod. It is excellent, as long as you don't mind paying a little bit extra. But you don't have to get this one. You can, if you don't want to spend that much to start out, you can get um, other gimbals, like, oh, what was it? But yeah, uh, so what kind of, will you be doing um, 777, you'll be doing walks? Sorry guys, 777 will be doing walks in Ohio, I believe. Thank you very much, Brad, for, you know, I would. I know Wesley, I didn't know either, Wesley. I didn't know either. But then I, I checked the forecast and said it was going to be a nice day and and uh, here we are, yeah, here we are. So I, I didn't, just when I woke up this morning, I walks and gardening, all right, that sounds, and shopping, wow. Let us know how that goes. I'll definitely check out your channel. D73, good morning. D73, are you in Toronto? I think D73. It's D73, are you in Toronto? These are a new awesome friend, D73, said she will be visiting Toronto. Possibly on this uh, week, long weekend. Now, in case you're wondering, you don't have to walk to the botanical gardens. Obviously, there's a. You could have taken the 54 Lawrence East bus from Eglinton Station. Okay, D73. This is relatively new, actually, though. Happy convenience. Five hundred Eglinton Avenue East. Speaking of the fifty four, there's one going to Eglinton Station. Henry goes around. Great to see you here.
Bayview and Edmonton coming up. So like I said, we were we started from Young and Eglinton and we're gonna walk along Eglinton Avenue East until Leslie. Then we'll go north on Leslie, on the uh, west side of Leslie to uh, Edwards Gardens, Botanical Gardens, Toronto Botanical Gardens. So get some nature vibes. Yeah, I think uh, try and get out there D73. I know when I'm not feeling the greatest, it really is it really helps to get out there, get some fresh air, and maybe go grab a coffee or tea or listen to music or just listen to the birds chirping. Hope you feel I get out there, feel better D73. Next light, not this one, the one after. So many fond memories. And continue to have fond memories. Seventy-three. I've been. I've felt that way in uh, recent months. Oh, there's a human. not be a dingus get your psychic reading oh no sorry no sorry no that's not psychic reading that's some type of no dingus allowed on this stream no dingus, it's Good Friday. Oh, Good Friday. Happy Good Friday if you celebrate or even if you don't celebrate, just happy Good Friday. Easter long weekend. Hey Jane, no way. Good morning to you. Jane, you're up early. Hopefully you don't have to work today. Where's the dingus, Jane? I was just saying, no dingus allowed on this stream. Hardly any, uh, hardly any, see Jane, hardly anyone. It's very, very quiet. Hey, um, Transit Town, thanks for being here. No, Transit Town, I'm, you, you gotta read it again. I'm gonna walk from Young and Eglinton to the Edward Garden. Edward Gardens at Lawrence and Leslie. Read it again. Great to see you. Good morning, Chain. Chain is in the house and there. This metro. Been to many, 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 many times. So many fond memories there too. Not just grocery shopping. There it is, Cyber Gaming. Oh yeah, D73, Tim Hortons will be open, Starbucks will be open. Maybe the hours will be a little bit, uh, not like, a, you know, but uh, that's, 
the one at Young and Eglinton Starbucks I got just when I was walking by they just opened at 7 a.m. Lee side Lee side Lee side speaking of Tim A Tim A Tim A Tim A yes Dave sure is again happy 60th birthday to Dave in Bangor Maine Actually, I want to, since I have so many fond memories, maybe I'm going to have a cigarette here somewhere. I know Jane and I were mentioning before, Metro is usually our go-to. And this is a fantastic location I've met for Toronto Maple Leaf players. They're uh, Blue Jays. Oh, Jane says in Kingston, nothing but shoppers and wine rack. That's it, shoppers and wine rack. Nothing else open. No transit. Oh man, Jane, that is brutal. Hopefully, well, there's gotta be some, some food places or Timmy's or Starbucks or, oh, that's insane. There is the 11 baby bus. Wow, this is quite a number of, Folks, maybe they were working from the hospital. Yeah, that's why there's so many people in the mask. They're probably walking and working from the hospital. Working from Sunnybrook Hospital. Well, I guess the good thing about the station not being open yet is I can smoke. If the station was open, I wouldn't be smoking here. There's the 11 Bayview bus, which used to run out of Wilson Division, but no longer. So many of my bus operator buddies missed that route, and it is a great route, the 11. <sighs> Long time ago, that used to be uh, McDee's there. Now, Leaside Station. Lee side. Oh yeah, and Lee side high. Uh, Lee side high school. Yeah, let's zoom in on the sun here. Lee side. Let's see what the wide angle looks like now. Ah, I don't like that. Put on the main camera. See, better. You gotta play around with it sometimes. Rafi, great to see you, Rafi. Metro. But they're probably closed, I would imagine. The only grocery stores you'll see open are like those, um, those like Asian ones. See Galleria and H Mart and there'll be Chinese grocery stores open. The sun it will be shining. There's a 34 Edmonton. Yeah, Rabo will be open, Jane. Yeah, Rabo will be open. They're probably they're probably open 24 hours, even despite this long weekend. But uh, Rabas tend to be downtown. You don't, you won't really see Rabas here in Midtown. You know, 7-Elevens, they'll be open. Um, so still plenty open. Uh, the Eden Center, uh, Jane uh, and friends, the Eden Center will be open. The Eden Center. Not sunny yet, right? Well, let's hope the sun comes out D73. You like Raba, Jane? I'll admit, uh, they are very handy. They do, they're, they're like a convenience store on steroids. They have grocery items there too, and it's like a convenience store on steroids. They got plenty of, plenty to get. 
HL in the house. Great to see you, HL. HL in the house. Let's see which side I should walk on. But there's a look north of Bayview. Brad Palmer bringing out the Tims. And definitely Tim Hortons, Starbucks will be open. But they'll have uh, less hours today. Crane, beautiful morning indeed. Except for that pesky uh, green orb. Hopefully eventually the iPhone gets rid of those. I know it annoys the hell out of Johnny. And right now it's annoying me a little bit. Crystal Kitty Cat, Lisa, uh, Lisa. Lisai Station, but it's closed. So who knows when Lisai, when Line 5 will be open. Who knows, maybe later this year. Wouldn't that be? But yeah, thanks for being here, early bird. It is an early stream, I, I wasn't expecting. I just woke, uh, woke up and And uh, there'll be a Zoom, uh, a Zoom meeting for members at 3 p.m. If you're interested, it's completely optional. So don't feel like you're you have to attend or anything like that. But it would be great to see. So yeah, Zoom meeting at 3. I'll try and I think I'll go outside somewhere. Hey, 11 uh, in the house. It's. Yeah, sure it's early. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It's not even eight o'clock yet. They got a baseball diamond here at Leaside High School, Leaside Secondary. And uh, the Blue Jays with the blowout win yesterday. Let's go Blue Jays. Make sure no sketchy person is following me. Okay, good. Every now and then, make sure. Every now and then, look behind you, obviously. Ever thought about moving to Toronto, Jane? I know you, when you were talking with Jerry L, you used to live in Toronto. I don't, also makes you feel better. I don't drive either, Jane. I gave up my car a couple of years ago and sometimes I do miss it, but the transit here is so good, so. On Kingston, get some, get some transit, Kingston. Kingston needs to get some transit. Uh, HL, I used to have. I my last car was a Nissan Maxima. So it's a very, very good car. Yeah, me too, Jane. But like I said, they chill. Yeah, sometimes I miss it. Sometimes I end up uh, ordering groceries for delivery a lot, but sometimes I'll... I, me too, Jane. Uh, no roommates for me. Ever, never, ever, ever, never, never, never. Because like, I mean, you could be great friends with someone and get along real well, but when it comes to living together, it's a whole other story. So I'm the same way, no roommates for me, no roomies, 
never. Yeah, triple seven. I'm saving money. Transit in Trenton sack. Yeah, I need, it was a good, really good car, uh, HO. Looked really nice. You're walking on the treadmill with you, right on Chrissy Kitty Cat. I gotta get my fat ass doing some cardio because even with all the walking I do, I don't know why I'm not losing the weight. We're on our way to Edwards Gardens, Botanical Gardens. Yeah, I totally understand Triple Seven. I know there's, I know, I know of people who, folks who don't, who don't want to drive on the highway, for example. Got my coffee. You betcha, Mr. Catty Cat. If you, if you don't, if you see me without coffee, that means there's something wrong. Oh, it's a Korean church. That's a Korean letter. I can't read it, though. Hey, good morning, Mark D. With that beautiful heron, night heron emoji. We're on Eglinton Avenue. Uh, we're past Eglinton and Bayview. Mark, that's Eglinton and Bayview. We walked from Young and Eglinton to uh, Edwards Gardens, Edwards Gardens, Botanical Gardens. So we'll get some nice nature vibes. Christine with, I believe, is that the Starbucks coffee emoji? It doesn't show up on my prism. Maybe Christine had her special drink. Um, maybe today, maybe, I know usually Saturdays, but maybe, Oh wow, Jay. Yeah, you can. It's gonna be hard to give that up. One thousand, only one thousand dollars inclusive, and it's a sweet place. Yeah, yeah. Don't give that up yet. I know. I know. On a day like today, you, 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 some of the conveniences are not there, but can't beat that. Really, thousand dollars without a roommate. That's uh, that's insanely good. I'd rather have, a, I'd rather live in, I think I'd rather live in Kingston for a thousand dollars rather than living in, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want any roommates. Yeah, my pleasure, Crystal Kitty Cat. You haven't seen in decades, well, just like Mark, so you, just like Mark, you enjoy Edwards Garden. So yeah, we're on our way. It's still gonna be a bit of a while to walk there. Um, might take another, um, maybe another half an hour. And what a great day to get a nature walk. Yeah, Chatty Kathy. Yeah, I think we were talking about Edwards Garden the other day. My pleasure. See, as a streamer, sometimes there's too many options and I was trying to figure out what to do today. I was trying to catch the sunrise. Near where I live. Paulo, good morning. Great to see you here. So the decision was made easy. I didn't even have time to go downtown. Hopefully the sun is not bothering uh, you, my friends. Uh, but we're gonna keep walking a little bit. Great to see you here. We're gonna keep walking east on Edmonton Avenue East until Leslie, and then walk north on Leslie. Lawrence and Leslie is where the uh, botanical gardens are.
Yeah, Christine, we go. I know, I, I know you've been in a stream before where we were there. It's your type of place. Now, you know, now, I don't know if right now, like, it'll be more beautiful uh, in a couple of months. But even now, the landscaping is beautiful. Lots of flowers and trails. So, that'd be your type of place, Christine. Oh, my pleasure, Paulo. I'm sorry to hear you're in the hospital right now. Your leg was acting up. Get better soon. My pleasure. Dominoes. So yeah, these pe there's still plenty will be open. These pizza dominoes, pizza places, all will be open. Oh no way, Jane! Your laundry's included, and they pay this, and they pay for the soap too. What? That is one sweet ass deal, and you get some unlimited laundry soap. Oh wow, Jane, so that just shows you, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick, you're a second, but the first, the first people didn't answer. Well, I guess, so congratulations, Jane, on getting that sweet deal. Oh, so, and you know, the great thing about getting the, uh, the soap, laundry soap paid for, those things are heavy. Imagine trying to do grocery shopping and then, uh, especially if you don't have a car and then you're trying to get a laundry detergent, that's a real bugger, but wow. Well, definitely you have some, a really, really good landlord. It's not easy to find a landlord so hospitable. Again, that is a sweet deal, a thousand bucks without any roommates. If you want pizza for a breakfast crane, you were looking at Domino's in the UK, Wesley. Coming up to Eglinton and Laird. We were here a couple months ago, uh, walked on Laird. Yeah, Jane, you're very fortunate because a lot of landlords out there suck, but you have one of the good ones. Paying for the, I never heard of that before, paying unlimited laundry soap, unlimited laundry soap and detergent. Here's a Laird station, the future Laird station. And that is a great perk because like I said, can you, can you imagine trying to do some grocery shopping and then when you need to get more laundry, you know, well, unless even those smaller ones can be a little bit heavy. Imagine trying to lug around all the laundry. So, yes, uh, Mark, the Zoom meeting's at 3 p.m. I should have, maybe I should have put a, a member's post. I got to do that after the stream. But yeah, if you're a member, feel free to join us at the Zoom at 3 p.m. Just a very casual, we're not, you know, nothing. Just chit chat and hang out together. Original Six, good morning to you.
Sorry for gaming. I'll put the link in the members post when I post it. I'll put the link in there. The invite. I got a coffee. Yes, Paulo. You can just assume that every time I'll have a coffee every time. Every time I walk, I have a coffee. Yeah, it's a very uh, Chinese Cathy, very unique uh, building, isn't it? Reminds you of Acapulco, Mexico. Definitely is very uh, interesting shape. It's good to see that it's all these newer con condominium developments are not putting some thought into the design. All right, Zach, that's awesome. See your three. I'm sorry, Apollo. Um, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, TBE. Sorry, my brain's not completely working now. A free shopping cart, Jane. Was there a free shopping cart? Actually, that bus right there takes you right to the... Yeah, no, wor no worries, Chatty Cathy. No worries at all. Every month we'll have a... Uh, I don't want anyone to feel bad because they're not, they're not going to join. Completely optional. Roy Donald in the house. Great to see you, Roy. Good morning. Missed out on a free shopping cart. Jane was saying. Yes, Paulo. I am extremely, extremely... I am extremely, extremely happy with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And if I could, I'd buy, and then uh, I always, so much so that when I, it is really an outstanding phone. I don't know, the battery is insanely good, next level. You see the camera quality, the video quality. It's exactly what, as a live streamer, is perfect. The one, and another advantage too, they have in the Prism, a lot of apps are optimized for the iPhone instead of, uh, so they they have the en enhanced stabilization in case you don't. I'm feeling uh, great, uh, Mark. Thank you very much, how are you? City Walks of Cell, good morning. Thank you, Mark, for letting us know I'm live. And I apologize, if I, I am way behind on messages, so please bear with me. Uh, so I do have a lot of messages and emails and uh, comments to get caught up on. So please uh, be patient with me, my amazing friends. Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, yeah, Zach. That's why I wanted to do the Zoom meetings. I think it's, I don't think anyone else is doing it, and I think it's be a great way to hang out. Sort of, uh, sort of Paulo. Um, Eglinton Avenue East and Burnt Cliff. Sort of, um, a lot of the songs that I listen to are not available. On um, no, Mark, you're our friends love seeing you. Friends love seeing you. It's always a treat to walk with you. 
Yes, I know. Uh, Estelle, today's uh, Dave's 60th birthday. Happiest birthday to Dave. Oh, sorry, uh, Estelle, sorry about that. Yeah, you got the wrench again. You know, you're, you're an excellent mod, so don't... I had to uh, temporarily unmod some of our friends because uh, I did a members-only live stream, uh, a member stream the other day. So you're all good now. So, getting closer and closer to Leslie. Definitely have some fond memories of that Staples. City walks, yeah it does. Sure hit Dave. Yeah. Absolutely city walks. Anwa, hello to Kenya. Great to see you here. Actually, I don't think I need my gimbal, actually. I think it's a time where I don't... Yeah, Zach, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun for sure. I like those uh, group, the group dynamic, the group Zoom meets, whether they be Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever. Uh, Estelle, the Zoom meeting is for the members. It's for members. Uh, channel members, that's uh, having a monthly uh, Zoom meet, so. Try to, I try to provide as much value as possible on the memberships. RD can't wait for Brad's latest trail cam vid. Thanks, Christine Rigo. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Anwa. Don't won't have to worry about copyright Muzak in this stream, or most likely won't have to, won't have to worry about Dingus. It's very rare that you encounter Dingus in the nature. Uh, well. What, when we get there. The great thing about nature walks is, um, yeah, the Leafs one, uh, Mark, Leafs and Blue Jays, yep. 
Go Leafs, go. Go Blue Jays, go. That was awesome. I'll uh, premiere tomorrow morning. So Brad looking to premiere that trail cam video that Mark was anticipating uh, tomorrow morning. But when you're in uh, nature, oh no way. Oh my gosh, Jane. Thank you so very much for the generous $10, Jane. My gosh, for a gorgeous, wholesome coffee or a snack. We'll definitely do that, Jane. We'll definitely go find a place. Jane, thank you for the, um, Jane. Thank you so very much for the amazing support, Jane. Jane, Jane coming through, wow, wow. Definitely get a, a, a nice treat. Thanks to Jane. Thank you very much, Jane. Wow. Very generous super chat. Our amazing friend, Jane. Detroit. Detroit Dale, good morning to you. Summertime Street Festival. Um, I like um, the, the Little Italy one. If I had to pick one. Hopefully they keep Taste of the Danforth, because Taste of the Danforth, would you believe that they might be canceling it? And hopefully not. I really love the Little Italy. Um, used to ride your bike to Taylor Creek up to Edward Garden, uh, Crystal Kitty Cat. Thank you for sharing that. John Barrientos in the house. Great to see you, John. John Barrientos. Our amazing friend John in the house now. And uh, yeah, sometime this long weekend, we'll, let's see if we can get a whole Triple T group crew going. But yeah, Jane, it'd be great to meet you if, if you're interested. We're gonna have the big Triple T meetup on August 24th. That's going to be the massive Triple T meetup. Obviously, there'll be other meetups along the way, but... But either way, totally understandable. And any of our friends that we haven't met yet, if, you, if you'd like to join the meetups, maybe circle August 24th. to see you John hopefully we can and uh, what a great time we had at Scarborough Bluffs last Sunday maybe we can all get to get we maybe you me you John and some of us maybe me you uh, John maybe me you and uh, Liam and Sapand and um, anyone else will get, and and boom or you know we, we could walk through uh, here to, actually um, oh they finally uh, I don't know if I should walk from here or oh no they got it closed off no Well, I could always, I could always, uh, Ricardo in the house. Great to see you here, Ricardo. Um, I don't even know if I can go over it without, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, maybe not. Pequel, good morning to you, Pequel. Great to see you here. Joycey, great to see you here, Joycey. Happy Easter weekend.
Lucy, great to see you, Lucy. Yeah, John, are you available any, uh, um, either Saturday or San Saturday or Sunday? Or even tomorrow, uh, uh, actually tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow would be better, actually. Sunday, I don't know. Are yeah, you available tomorrow, John? But, um... And then uh, Monday, Monday could be our out of town. I'm, I'm gonna keep that. Maybe I'll put a members post, maybe, maybe. Monday we'll do our out of town trip. A really pretty small town. It's got a bit more walking to do. Maybe in another 10 minutes or so, get to the Botanical Gardens, Lexus. Lexus. Can you imagine in the fall how amazing? Hey, uh, Crumbo. Hey, great to see you, Crumbo. Crumbo. Cooking. Thanks to Jane's awesome support, we'll definitely get a treat like a cookie or something, or another coffee, or maybe both, or something. Dip, dip the cookie in the coffee. You like to bike to Edwards Gardens from downtown using the DVP, using the Don Valley Trail. Yeah, Mark Crumble, Mark and I were, Mark D, were at the One of a Kind show recently. And uh, lots of fantastic vendors with cookie, lots of cookies. Sunnybrook, Sunnybrook Park and Village and uh, Wilkit Creek so should we start on the trail to, uh, right now I was gonna go right to the main entrance or should we go here this will this will lead to Edward Gardens to Edwards Gardens uh, so I'm not sure what which way y'all wanna you wanna go to the main entrance or Oh, in the afternoon? All right, John. I'll be in touch, John. Maybe me, you, Sapan, Liam. Should we take a walk, walk at Creek or should we go to the main? Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll go to the main. Uh, Not much further. Yeah, those are nice condos, yeah. They definitely are uh, different design for sure. Definitely unique. I like it too. Imagine being in close proximity to Edwards Gardens. The only downside is uh, you'd have to go a bit of a ways to get groceries. Um, Yeah. But if you can afford to live in those condos, I guess you can get groceries delivered. 
Or I'll probably have a car. Lucy, it's a holiday, Lucy. Statutory holiday, so. It's Good Friday. Good Friday. B73 went to the RB. G Burlington during. Oh, okay. I'm not sure, Combo. In on the park drive. I don't know what the prices are, Crumble. Yeah, great to see you, Lucy. We're almost at uh, Edwards Gardens. Guess my fat ass is getting a bit of a workout now. Oh, is that right, Crumble? American neighbors. If you're just joining us, we're walking north on Leslie here on the west side of Leslie and uh, we're on our way to Edwards Gardens the Toronto Botani Botanical Gardens oops what's going on over here Yeah, I'll get my cord is in the picture. I gotta get that cord. Oh. Why is the cord in the picture here? There we go. Tra hey, Transformers! Those fire trucks look like Transformers now. Shouts out to Toronto Fire. I guess if you felt really adventurous, you can go. And there, Mara, great to see you, Mara. Good morning. John says there used to be a gum factory coming up. Oh, okay. Rig thank you for thank you for the information, John. No, Apollo. Maybe tomorrow. But John Barrientos was with me here. Sure, it's a nice day, Mark. So that really helped me make my decision. I said, why not do a bit of a nature walk? Not only nature, it's a combination. We, we walked over an hour to get here. I think once I get there, I'm gonna need another quick break. I gotta get my fat ass back in shape. I need to get back in shape like I was last summertime and then that'll be good. I won't be out of breath like. The sun will be shining. I appreciate it so. So John Barrington said it used to be a gum fa uh, gum factory. Now it's a, uh, I don't know. I never heard of that, OTT Financial. 
Thanks very much, Crystal Kitty Cat. You're, you're all are awesome. I'd like to, Paulo. Okay, so I gotta get in shape first, though. Swimming, swimming is a great exercise for sure. Be a little bit careful when you walk here because if it's uh it's not muddy now but if it was muddy I'd have to be very careful. Alright excited we're going to the Toronto Botanical Gardens Edwards Gardens yeah, and what we have, uh, that's what people say all the time. We have clean streets. Almost coming, almost. The Korean Cultural, Canadian Cultural Association of Metropolitan Toronto, John. I think there was some frost. Right on, John, for the awesome information. Used to pass by often. 107 in the building, right on. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of folks tuning, tuning in, waiting for Johnny's premiere. I'm sh we'll definitely uh, walk some of the trails. I do have a nature walk coming up from, uh, I guess I'll, I'll make that a members video, a nature walk and uh, probably release it Sunday. The nature walk at the Brickworks as well as the Beltline belt Trail part of it ravine there Paulo says if someone gave you 1500 will you keep it or buy a drone for 800 dollars iPhone 15 Pro Max you know what I would probably I would love to get another 15 Pro Max but I'll probably get a, a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and still have 500, the creator combo, and I have 500 bucks left over. Yeah, I think I would get the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, like Johnny and Ken has, and Johnny uses it to live stream. Uh, if I got it though, I wouldn't live stream with it, but I would, it would be a lot easier to make videos in certain situations. But no plans for a drone. Um, eventually, I'd get a second phone. I'll probably keep this instead of uh, I'll keep this 15 Pro Max, and then when the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max comes out, I'll get one of those. 
if the low light performance is the same on both i'll get the 16 pro but if the low light performance is a little bit better on the pro max then i'll get 16 pro max yeah and why sure it's a great device I know Johnny really loves it. Probably a 54 bus. Almost empty. Oh, 51. 51 uh, Leslie BMW. John says when I used to work Canadian Tire, I would always call Park your BMW. W for parts inquiry inquiries. Marie, my friend. Great to see you, Marie. So now the dynamic duo is here. No, the buses are not free today, Christine. Ah, uh, no. The only time they are on uh, New Year's. Uh, Eve, like I mean, uh, from uh, 7 p.m. on New Year's Eve, I think, to uh, New Year's Day, I forget what time, just so that people don't don't drink uh, while impaired. Other than that, uh, they don't. Uh, Paulo, uh, I don't. I maybe I found 20 bucks one time, I think one time while I was walking Janet great to see you here blessed morning Bahamas oh, we're almost there I could have went to the trails already but I figured might as well go to the main entrance. Walkit Creek Park. Very weird. It's very cloudy. Look at that. It's weird. Look at the sky. It's weird. So a lot of cloud cover, but then when you go higher up, it's all blue. But Below that, it's all cloud, which is why I hear some rustling. Oh, there's a squirrel. Gordon Freeman, happy Good Friday. Great to see you here. Yeah, John, that's why, um, that was part of the thinking, yeah, for anyone, maybe, um, any newcomers who haven't seen it or who haven't been here or haven't been here in a long time, like, uh, Crystal Kitty Cat, and it'll be great to show how to get, it's a slender man, Jane, yeah, doesn't that look, that's something else, eh, Slenderman. Slender Man. I haven't seen it like that in a while. Still snow. A little bit of snow left over. I don't know if this. Uh, to Lucy, my record is 12 uh, My record is 12 hours, Lucy. 12 hours. The epic uh, triple team meetup from last year. Rafi, hello. Happy Good Friday. Yeah, Gordon, uh, very uh, little humans. I'm sure people will come out eventually. I mean, it's a nice day. Maybe uh, eventually 
enjoy it out here. Maybe, you know, I'm sure some folks will be at the botanical gardens. Yeah, it's, it's a nice change, Gordon, not having too much traffic or who months. You haven't been in years so for gaming. It's easy to get to here. It's very easy to get here. Uh, from Eglinton Station, you just take the 54. If you walk, you'll, it'll be about an hour and 15 minutes. But if you take the bus from Eglinton Station, the 54 less Lawrence West, uh, Lawrence East bus, or the 51 Leslie bus will take you straight to the intersection. Only about a 10 to 15 minute ride, bus ride. But yeah, we'll be down there at some point. I was, I was born a woman, thank you for being here. Dirk G, happy Good Friday. Hey, great to see you, Dirk. Looking forward, looking forward to the Zoom, looking forward to the Zoom meeting. Very looking forward to the Zoom meeting. You're definitely gonna go in summertime. I highly recommend it. I'm pretty excited for gaming. There are some, uh, there are some, like a little, um, like ravine type thing, some water there. We'll find out together. No worries, Paolo. No worries at all. Just appreciate you being here. John Nicholson, great to see you. Sure is a nice day for a walk. Yeah, Dirk G, I will put the members post with the link in it. I'll, after the, um, shortly, um, maybe an hour or two after the stream. Yeah, looking forward to it, Dirk, it's gonna be great. why it's uh, an hour and a half I know I took a couple of quick smoke breaks but normally Google Maps says an hour and 15 to walk from Young and Eglinton to here but whatever I can't wait for the zoom Mara, absolutely I can't wait This is cool what they have here to help you cross since the lights are so far since the lights are so far uh, from each other so this helps you cross yeah Dirk I, and friends who just joined Dirk and Gordon and we're uh, gonna have a nature walk at the Edwards Gardens the beautiful Edwards Gardens Toronto Botanical Gardens. It's coming up very shortly. Yeah, Christine, cities need more of that. You don't see enough of that. I mean, this one here, uh, there's one that I know of at uh, Oriel Parkway and sh near Oriel Parkway and Chaplin, but they need a lot more because they definitely need, uh, absolutely. Cause look at look how far the lights are. I mean, you can see, and this is normally a busy street on a normal day. And imagine trying to cross that without having that. So you don't have that where you are. Yeah, we. 
even in Toronto here, we, we, there should be more of them. Uh, Apollo membership is uh, five dollars Canadian. Apollo, very much appreciated. I don't ever want. I don't ever want anyone. I know things can be tight these days, but that's right. John smashed the like button. Oh, it's an annoying person here. Was originally going to turn where I. And then that's why I just wait. Happy Good Friday, Nora. Great to see you here. Truly Canadian. Looks like they're working on... That's perfectly fine. I was born uh, perfectly fine. You have good transit where you are if you have great transit you don't need uh you sure are joycey sound of birds all right so it's coming up at the intersection coming up that's where just almost there but before we walk around i do need a quick smoke St. Bonaventure Catholic School. Okay. So this is coming up is Lawrence Avenue East and uh, Lawrence Avenue East and Leslie. Oh, look at the mess here. It's a complete mess here. then my gosh the skies look threatening like James said slender man slender man the skies look threatening I don't believe there was any rain in the forecast though I mean most of the sky is blue Alrighty, alrighty, here at the parking lot. Edwards Gardens, Toronto Botanical Gardens. There's the 54 Lawrence East, pretty busy. And you can take that bus all the way. Um, you gotta check if it's A or B, you gotta, that bus will take you all the way to Rouge, uh, Rouge near Rouge National Urban Park, uh, Rouge Hill. It's a long ass bus ride though. I'll take so, almost an hour. Here we are, Christine. Yeah, I know. It's uh, very weird. The bottom half of the sky is completely cloudy, and then, but rest, thankfully, most of it is blue. Uh, just the bottom half looks, the sky looks threatening. And uh, you do have to pay for parking here if you're driving here. I don't know how much it is. I guess I'll find out, see what, how much. I don't think it's very much. Mary, good morning to you, Mary. So great to join us uh, here at the beautiful Edwards Gardens, uh, Mary. Edwards Gardens, Toronto Botanical Gardens. Four bucks an hour, so an hour is probably not enough. If you're here, you probably want 
to be here for a couple hours at least. Unless probably more like eight bucks for two hours. All right. Happy, great to see you here, Mary. Happy Good Friday, and yes, we are here at uh, Edwards Gardens, Toronto Botanical Gardens. We'll get, but like, check out that sky though. So weird. I've not seen anything quite like it in quite some time. Let me just see where I can have a quick, um, where, where, maybe over here. I need a ledge or something for my coffee. How many cars here? This, there's a few. There's other humans here, other nature lovers. But the great thing about, uh, for the most part, people who, um, humans who enjoy nature, they're usually very friendly. They make, and people actually make eye contact. Yeah, Gordon, I'm sure there'll be folks who decide they want to take a stroll here in the beautiful uh, Edwards Gardens. Uh, Botanical Garden. And big, big thanks again to Jane, our amazing friend Jane, for the support tremendous support earlier but that is the corner of and when you get far enough in the trails you, you won't you don't have to worry about it you won't hear too many cars yes uh that's right john this uh area around here is a very affluent lawrence and leslie a lot of affluent areas Yeah, the bridle uh, bridal path, not far from here. You love the nature walks, I do too, Mira. I'm sure a lot of us, uh, Estelle does. Yeah, it's not exactly the warmest day, Christine. Looks like we won't be getting double digits Celsius for until next weekend. Oh, no way, Mary. Is this your favorite park, Mary? Oh, then this is perfect. Here at the uh, Botanical Gardens, Edwards Gardens. This is Mary W's favorite park, so thank goodness it's mostly blue. Hey, upstate here, Bob. Good morning, Henry and Triple T Army. Great to see you, Bob. Uh, I did say earlier I have a lot of correspondence to catch up to but Bob would you just say de definitely yes to climbing that mountain Bob I'm sure you know what I mean de a definite definite yes to climbing that mountain yeah Jane you know what that would be great to explore abandoned places I was so bummed out when they closed off Jane the, the West Islands oh look he's taking it all in he or she I do that too sometimes I feel that euphoria. But yeah, I was so bummed out they closed off the West Islands of Ontario place. That was the, last summer we went to, to that, that, that's like the abandoned Ontario place with the abandoned um, log ride and that would have been a perfect place. So we're gonna, yeah, thanks for that, Jane. We're gonna have to find some more abandoned places now that they've closed that off. People still enjoyed uh, walking through that abandoned Ontario place. And we went to check out the abandoned log ride. We went right in there. Vast Thinker now, it's great to see you. Um, Cindy Randall. Yeah, absolutely, John. In a couple of months, this place will be a lot more busier with the flowers blooming. You have all your favorite Zoom backgrounds ready to roll, Bob. to we won't have to worry 
about any sketchy people here. Like John Benito says, the affluent area. Well, I'm not saying affluent areas can't have sketchy people. I'm saying, you know what I mean. Maybe the odd snobby person, but not. Sorry for the wind. Um, I do have. Still got to get the the mic uh, to. Uh, the volume is muted, so I'll have to figure that out. Thanks very much, Fast Thinker. We're gonna enjoy this uh, together. It's already some flowers here. Hey, Maxim One Morgan, yeah, isn't it crazy? Isn't it insane? It is insane. Look. Yeah, it, it is insane. Thanks very much, Bob. And I've got a members video coming up in uh, probably on Easter Sunday, a nature a nature video. Walking evergreen brickworks and the beautiful trails there in the Beltline. Oh, you're very welcome, Mary, and thank you so very much. Thank you so very much, our dear Mary. This is, in fact, Mary W's favorite park. Oh, Jane says if you watched Ken's stream. Yeah, Ken was walking with a, a Toronto actor, actor. So I guess now you're supposed to say actor, not actress, but a Toronto, uh, Diane um, Agu Aguilar, Aguilar. So definitely looking forward to seeing the replay. I saw some of it. And uh, yeah, Diane, um, they make a great walking pair and Diane, Definitely, it's a very uh, yeah. She's very, very uh, got quite the personality. That's right, Vast Thinker. Yeah, Edwards Gardens. I know Bob. You've you've been here before with us on the stream. Uh, Chatty Kathy and uh, who else was here? Brad and Marie. And great to hear. Yeah. So. She responded to your message. Yeah, Nancy Madness is hit with the Hollywood stuff. She would like to get to know her. Great landscaping. Yeah, has anyone seen any shows with Diane um, Aguilar? I remember they had a polling station in one of the elections in that building over there. Normally they would have water here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Jane. Yeah, I'm definitely curious now. Definitely curious. I wish I wish I had more time to watch uh, shows, but I definitely want to check out uh, a Torontonian, Diane um, Aguilar, if I pronounced that correctly. Still dark and cold. Oh, are you in Vancouver, Morgan? Maxim, one, you're in Vancouver. I don't know if you heard, but I will be going, to, we, Triple T will be going to BC sometime in the summertime. Top of the trail that goes right down to the lake says Vast Thinker. I think this is uh, this has some food options. This building, uh, I'd imagine they'll be closed today.
Uh, what is this place again? Uh, Mary says your parents used to go here a lot. Yeah, when's the last time have you been here, Mary? Hopefully you get a chance to come here. When all, preferably in a couple of months when everything will be green, all the greenery and flowers are in bloom. Oh, speaking of Bloom, that place is called Bloom, Bloom Cafe. It sure is, Zach. Yeah, Morgan, for sure. And definitely we'll look forward to meeting you if you're up for it. We can even walk together. And maybe show, show some cool places. Are you actually in Vancouver? Uh, Vancouver. Bob says most people would vote if they had to walk through these gardens too. Yeah, maybe that would increase the voter turnout, which normally tends to be abysmally low. Oh, thanks for the information, Christine Rigo. Before it was a vast expanse of the manicured public space, Edwards Gardens was the private estate of Alexandra Milne. I know I've heard of that name in the his in history books. The land was eventually purchased by Rupert Edwards. In 1944, he created the garden. Oh, okay, Strathcona, a neighborhood in Vancouver. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited, uh, Maxim. Morgan, um, Maxim is our also friend Morgan not the Morgan you've seen um, not, uh, there's a Liam's friend Morgan and Maxim here Morgan definitely looking forward to, I'm so excited about Vancouver I uh, what can oh my gosh I mean the, the, the Vancouver seawall Vancouver seawall Vancouver Islands uh, I mean Stanley Park you name it you really like planting and gardens. I deal a little with your containers on stairs and admire who can landscape. And there definitely is beautiful landscaping here. Just imagine when everything's in full bloom again. But even now, like, definitely worth a visit. Yes, Gordon, yeah, this would be, I've seen a lot of couples here. A great place for a date, preferably during the warmer times. Absolutely, Gordon. And um, there's a, uh, a a part here where uh, there have even been ma marriage proposals. A bridge. Topiary on point, Topiary. So we're gonna go check that out, Topiary. Thanks very much. Topiary. Yeah, this would definitely be a great place for you to walk with your significant other or if you're on a date. Okay, Mary, yeah, I hope you get a chance to hope you get a chance this um, this summertime either late spring or in the summertime I'd love for you to be able to enjoy your favorite place here oh uh, yes that's right Van Stinker wedding photos a lot of wedding photos here oh you do you cycle here to Van Stinker do you used to work in a dirty garden I was born suppose we can walk down here but we will go we'll, we will go there uh, I'll, let's go to the main oh 
All righty, Edwards Gardens, Toronto Botanical, Botanical Gardens. We've been here quite a few times. Let us walk some of the trails, shall we? Oof, the cloud. I don't think there's supposed to be rain in the forecast. More and more and more and more cloud cover. What's going on here? Don't do that. Don't do that. Sheesh, great swaths of cloud here. Oh, okay, Vast Inker, thanks for sharing. Start walking some of the trails here. Like Vast Tinker says, and uh, great place to bike too. Edwards Gardens, Botanical Gardens. Did we go over there yet? It is quite botanical. Also botanical. All right, let's walk some of the trails. Very few humans. I guess if it rains, and so be it. If it rains, it rains. But yeah, definitely. Let us get walking, shall we? We'll show you some of the spots where. Yeah, this is Jane. I would love to see a snake on a live stream. I don't think I've ever seen a snake on a live stream. I'm really hoping so. Well, the non-poisonous ones anyways. I think snakes are pretty cool. Gordon says, when you change, when you reach 40, every time the weather changes, your body aches. So don't go all you Gen Zers. You hear some water vibes. It's really fantastic, really quite fantastic. Yeah, it's a nice greenhouse, Vast Tinker. Hey, what's going on here? What do you mean, you're closing off? Ah, don't worry, we'll see, we'll find another way. Don't tell me I can't walk down. I want to walk down there. Don't worry, we'll walk down there. Don't even tell me I can't walk down here. Perfectly safe. Hey Chris, Chris and Steve. Happy Easter weekend. Thank you very much for the sweet message. Great to see you and Chris. And happy Good Friday. I've never seen that before, John. Maybe in the winter time, but no reason that they have to have the gates now. It seems safe. I'll definitely, no, I'll get you guys down there. There's always a way. We, we go down, no problem. No problem. Sometimes you see people just sitting on the on the grass here, no problem. Oh, yeah, it sure is a very. This is your type of place, Christine Rigo. 
That sinker says there are a few poisonous snakes. You've got the brown Mississauga rattler. That sinker giving a tip that put nutmeg in your coffee. It will improve your demeanor, mitigate aches and pains. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I definitely would be terrified. Uh, I don't know what you think, Jane, but I would be terrified if I ran into a rattler, a rattlesnake. I'd rather just run into a, a, a gardener snake or one of those harmless snakes. It's quite, it's quite wonderful. I don't know what you call this thing, or it's something rather. Yeah, fast sinker, yeah, thank you. There's definitely gonna be a way down. There's always a way. Jet Fischler in the house, great to see you, Jet. Jet Fischler. Jet Fischler. I think that was the person that was taking it all in. Yeah, no, go, uh, Bob, it wasn't here. Um, I know this might look familiar. <sighs> Where? We're definitely in a different part of the city, way, way different. Where we met Crying Hippies was when I was mentioning earlier to Jane uh, that where the near the abandoned Ontario place and exhibition. Yeah, maybe I wanna, wanna have a seat here. Nobody else here. Only one other solitary human. And uh, certainly Mary, I hope you get to come here in the late spring or early summer when every, can you imagine? Or even the fall, this place is beautiful. And Cypher Gaming wants to come here. Who else wants to come here? Uh, Crystal Kitty Cat, they have to, they had to close off a whole the Ontario government wants to build a private spa there and you know and they say they'll build some nice things for uh, for they want to make it a destination again no worries Bob it does look similar for sure um, I think I know which one you're talking about yeah can you imagine in the fall but even whether and and if I remember correctly even in the summertime they don't have that many mosquitoes here so that's a good thing Yeah, they, they had to close off uh, Ontario Place, uh, most of it. Uh, they're, they're building a private spa. I don't know why you want to build a private spa, but whatever. But they are, they are going to build other nice, they say they're going to build other nice. Uh, yeah, sure, it is nice, Mary. Um, uh, Marie. Sorry, sometimes like Marie and Mary. Yeah, Edwards Gardens, Botanical Gardens. You and Brad might be able to check it out because um, I believe Brad is driving. It is quite some distance, but driving-wise, not too bad. Although, although um, they have the gardener is going to be a mess. They closed off uh, a lane on each side on the gardener. That's going to be a three. Uh, that's going to be a few years. Uh, that's going to be a couple of years of a uh, nightmare. Is that low level fog, Bob? Some, maybe some London fog. Yeah, lots of weddings, Mary. Very, very busy in the summertime. <sighs> Looks nicer with the flowers. Yeah, it does, Mark. We'll definitely have to come back here. And you can always tell which trees are the willows, Christine. Some London fog. I really gotta work on my uh, British accent. Some humans. Yeah, Gordon, um, 
lot of controversy about that. Uh, they better build, um, if they're going to do that, they better make the rest of the Ontario place good for everyone else. It sure is, uh, Chris. I've been here in the, in the fall too. You can just imagine it. Oh, was that more of an Australian accent, Vast Thinker? <laughs> Good day, mate. Good day, mate. You'll have to have a big wedding, but of course you need a date first. I don't know if I'll ever get married. I'm I'm more than happy to be alone. I know that's not... But, you know, the vast, you know, everyone, not everyone, but the vast majority of... Uh, we're all human, so we all... I'm sure you're going to find the right one, Jane. Uh, maybe here, Jane. If you get... Take some wedding pictures here when... You eventually find the right person. An hour and 15 minutes? Oh, from where you are, Christine, right? Yeah, from where you are... Sure, this will be a place you'd love to come to, Christine. Yep, there it is, yep. And the bridge coming up actually is where you'll see a lot of marriage uh, couples taking photos. You said you would never get married, but you did it later in life, Joycey. Yeah, who knows if that's going to be the same with me. Maybe I'm happy to be alone right now, but... Oh, yes. Yeah, me too, Jane. Right now, I'm happy being single as well, but... Maybe one day. But definitely, no need to rush. In the meantime. That's right, Gordon. I like that. No, couple or single, no person is an island. There's a bridge coming up where a lot of couples take photos here. <laughs> Winning crashers, John Barrientos. Oh, thanks, Crumble, but I don't know if... Um, I'm... I, even, like, uh, when I've been asked, Henry, why, how come you're not dating anyone? I'm like, I'm... I like it. I like the me time. I like... Oh, don't, why can't we cross this bridge? Don't do that. Don't do that. Here, we'll go to the other bridge and then we'll go to the other side. I mentioned I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. I wanna, at least for another year or two, I wanna do me. Yeah, I guess, Christine, you can never say never. But I'm happy to report that I'm very happy doing me, if that makes sense. I'm doing me. Hey, bike. Glad you enjoyed it when me and Mark were at the One of a Kind show. That's right, uh, Mara. Absolutely. Picard, great to see you here. Absolutely, Crumble. And Mary says, your brother is a bachelor and has been for a very long time. He's very happy. There you go. I know at some point, uh, you know, probably our parents will be like, come on, we want, we want, we want grandkids. We want, but don't worry. We're all right. We can cross this bridge. Picard, engage. War factor 9.3. Right on, bike. So great to see a lot. Many of us are happy. See, um, what's that saying? They say there's some people who are lonely, and I feel sorry for them. But there's people who are happy, who are happy to be alone. Um, uh, I forget how the saying goes, but. Oh, Mark, you saying the so the. Um, 
The forecast doesn't look too good for the eclipse. Don't worry, you're not on camera. Relax. I have the camera pointed the complete opposite direction and covering their face. Go scram. Was I rude? I don't care. I have the camera completely in the opposite direction. Go. Oh, Jane, with a, a little secret, you were married once for two years and he's still one of your best friends. So that's uh, great to hear that you still very I'm amicable and that it wasn't a, one of those things where people hate each other. You still are best friends. That's amazing. You need to backpack the kid on your walks. Yeah, Bob. I'd say once you have kids, that's a lot of my friends, as I've said, are a lot older than me, and a lot of them have married and moved on with family, and I hardly ever get to see them again. Maybe once every few years, a couple of years. Yeah, this is a great view, Marie and Mark. I'll stay here, let that idiot walk for a while. Okay, is that mean of me? Okay, that, I won't say idiot, but that person who um, didn't want to be on camera. Last thinker we could take on Terror Place and do a Sand Island. That would suck if the solar eclipse, uh, you need some luck for them, like Mark was saying. Grisa, Edward, great to see you here. Looking forward to the Zoom meeting. Gordon says one of your friends has four kids. You see him once a year? Yeah, exactly. A lot of my friends have married and moved on. But there are some actually who still haven't married yet. I've, yeah, I know, Bob. Oh, Jane. One day it was like, let's get married, and we did it two, two, two days later. Yeah, it sure is, Chris. Chris and Steve. Uh, John Bear until 3 p.m. Uh, maybe I should have put the members, I'll put a member, members post with the link after. Uh, an hour or two after the stream. Um, maybe that's something I should have done earlier, but I think I kind of wanted to wait until today. Yeah, I'm a sure-footed sure -footed lad, vast thinker. That I can say. Sure, I, uh, glad you're enjoying it, uh, still. Would've been better with the blue skies. What did the... Take off the f thing here. Uh, there's nothing unsafe that I can see. I haven't had a chance to bike um, up at the PO box. We'll definitely, uh, uh, we'll definitely get that uh, going. You wanna for the? But I don't know if I should just make it for members. Um, I think I should leave that open to. Uh, everyone, but if you want to shower us gifts, uh, bike. And by Jane said, true, absolutely true. Yeah, it, it sure would be great to see, uh, get, uh, receive, um, 
uh, we'll definitely get that going. It's just been really busy lately. Yeah, Bob, uh, I'm sure that's what it was. Icy for the winter, but right now it seems fine. Um, I guess they don't really have anyone that can... Uh, all right, Christine, we go. Have a nice time with your dogs. See, taking pictures. He's joining us. We're walking. Uh, eventually, some of these trails lead to other. Let's see where. Hey. Some li li lily pads, wouldn't it be? Oh, I don't know if they're actually oh, li lily pads. No, I don't know. See any frogs here? Yeah, I'm sh yeah, I'm sure in the near future, Bob. Yeah, you're probably right. They don't have someone that comes here every day. We just the uh, city people. I'm sure they'll get rid of those uh, in due time. Yeah, I love frogs and toads too, Jane. You know, um, as much as we've explored, and as much as nature places we go to, I don't know if I've, I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a frog. That's gotta be one of the goals this for this summertime, this spring summer, to see some of those more wildlife, like frogs. I really like frogs too. Last year we were at Tommy Thompson, but we were gonna see some bunny rabbits, but unfortunately the, the reception didn't hold up. They scare you, Joycey? Oh, frogs are so cute. Oh yeah, bike. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't. There's no uh, real kind of zoo here, but uh, I was born. There's a little gazebo there. Yeah, John, I like frogs. I like frog, Kermit the frog. I like Kermit the frog like frogs. What is this? I don't know. It's been a while. If you follow uh, IG page for Toby Toad, I'll have to check out Toby the Toad. Maybe Toby the Toad knows Kermit the Frog. You like Kermit to crumble. Bob says the squirrels are out in full force. Frank would have a field day chasing them. Sorry, I'm out of breath here. I've got my fat ass back in shape.
else we got going on here? Uh, I have to do more cardio because the kitty cat. Yeah, because even all the walking I do. No, I gotta get in cardio. What is this Oli boot? Oh, teaching garden. Teach me. Teach us. Hey, there's a mini Anuk Shook. That's really cool. I gotta get to the gym, Mark. I gotta start getting back to the gym. I, that'll definitely be in the near future. I keep paying for the monthly uh, good life fees and it's pretty stupid that I don't take advantage of them. Look at the butterfly. Has anyone seen Lucas Spider? On YouTube. John says sometimes you and your friends are self called self the frogs in the prime game since we play in the enlightened. The frog, yes, Young and Shepherd, the frog, yeah. There's a the frog, yeah, Young and Shepherd. There's also the Tickle Toad, where we, we celebrated our amazing friend Jamie 1985's birthday, Tickle Toad. You love butterflies, Mark. Yeah, there you go. Is that supposed to be a dinosaur? Yeah. I love dinosaurs. I love me dinosaurs. That that would have been uh, maybe a stegosaurus or something like that. That's the that's a dinosaur. Yeah, buddy. Uh, crumble. I don't think it'll be happening today, but maybe closer to what like Bob was saying. Maybe by April first. Still around forty something. I've gotten a little lazy posting the shorts. If I'd been posting the shorts regularly, I would have had 5,000 already. Oh, you've seen it, uh, Cherry Kathy, Lucas. Lucas, Lucas. What's going on over here? I'm a curious bugger. You love spiders, Jane? You're always the one that has to remove them from people's house because they're all too scared. I'm a little bit spooked with spiders, I'll admit. But Jane, Jane loves spiders. Also, would that include snakes too, Jane? Not much of a sunrise bike. No, it wasn't much of a sunrise because of the low clouds, uh, you know, uh, it did get, uh, after the sun ha was already way up there, then it was good for a little while, but the initial sunrise, no. There are more humans here. I think it says here. Oh, dinosaur garden. This is a dinosaur garden, so. Oh, I got you, Jane. Yeah, those snakes have very, very quick reflexes. Almost as quick reflexes as I do, as like me. Almost. Uh, Lucas, the spider is cute. Crumble, you don't think anyone will be afraid of him? All right, thanks for the information. Uh, fast.
Hey Adam, great to see you here. Maybe Austin Matthews, maybe after the contract, you never know, he might play for Arizona. Yeah, Mark, sure, we'll do a, what do you think, should I? 5K celebration? I was hoping it would be the same time as my birthday, but it looks like it's gonna be well before. Um, should I do a, a 5K stream? I guess I should, shouldn't I? Crumble says that Tommy Thompson is usually in advance with butterflies. I'm sure we'll run into each other sometime, maybe. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy Thompson Park, a.k.a. Leslie Spit. The only thing that sucks about that place is uh, even I have both Bell and Rogers. The, the internet isn't so great uh, once you get to a certain part there. So I can only stream a certain amount and, and then I, I would probably have to make a recorded video. Glad you're excited, Mara. You're excited for me? You're excited for us here at Triple T, 5K. That's right, Bob, the, blo the Jays blew out the Rays. Hey, that rhymes. I'm a poet and I know it. The Jays blew out the Rays. Barrios pitched well. Homers by uh, Springer and Vlad. John Berenstos had a spider. Dad, you're put a spider on your palm when you visited a butterfly eco ecological garden and travel village in Palawan, Philippines. I would love to visit the Philippines. The Philippines, South Korea, and Japan would be my three places that I'd like to go in Asia. That would be great, Crumble. That would be super. I don't know if you'd want to think about coming to the Big Triple Team Meetup in the summer. <laughs> Jane. Laughing my ass off, so many people have said that. To upstate New York, Bob. All right, thanks again for the information. Um, fast thinker. I forget, Bob, did they, did they even, did they even sell out there? Tampa Bay. Apparently doesn't love their baseball. They can never, hardly ever sell out their tickets, even though they've had a winning team for a number of years now. I think that's the washroom. I don't think it'll be open now. Hey, no worries, Grumble. No worries at all, even if I can meet you off camera. Sorry guys, I need another smoke. F me, man. I guess there's a lot of competition, Bob. They got the Tampa Bay Lightning, who again are doing really well in, the, in hockey and then Tommy, Tommy. Yeah, Mark. I wonder if this, I would imagine this is a, a, a great place for bird watching too. Definitely Tommy Thompson, uh, definitely Tommy Thompson. I always see people with the, uh, they're like super long focal length cameras. 
I think Tommy Thompson is probably the best place to catch wildlife, to see wildlife in Toronto. Yeah, absolutely, Crumble. Sounds great, Crumble. Definitely got love to meet you. Maybe we'll have a Lake Ormond cookie, which Mark D now loves. The birds are beautiful, Vastinker. <sighs> Yeah, bike, I'm not going to worry too much about whatever happened there. Not to say that I'm invincible, but ain't nothing going to happen to Even if I'm going to bring some backup. Yeah, Quambo. That would be appropriate. Lake Ormond. Whether it be Rich, Richmond and Spadina or Brookfield Place. Chris says Brad Palmer has some beautiful bird watching. Yes, the trail cam. I saw that the beautiful Blue Jays. It's all good. Whatever is, whatever happens, we'll deal with it. Tommy Thompson. Bring it on. Oh, that stupid person. Get away. Go away. I thought they were far away from now. Stupid. Fuck, man. I have to wait here. Yeah. Please put the link into Brad Palmer's excellent channel. You get to see the trail cam. And uh, if you love bird watching, you should see uh, Brad has taken his cha channel to another level with the trail cams. So Wilkit Creek Park, Wilkit Creek Park, you tried the white macadamia? Marg really likes, really loves Lake Orman who, Lake Orman who treated me twice and Likes it more than Crave Cookies. Yeah, Bob, because it's opening day, good for them that they actually got some decent numbers, but I'm sure as the season goes along, I love Brad's channel too. Brad is amazing. Thanks, Chris. What can we, what else can you say about Brad? Amazing, superstar Brad, multi-talented. Even Brad did a, Brad even uh, went to swim one time. Thanks, Bob. I'm a I'm a private person too, Crumble. No worries. My friends who are that's what I thought, Crumble. Um, maybe it's a mix of sun and clouds. I guess it would have been better. Subscribe to my amazing friend Brad if you haven't already. So it'll be really exciting when Brad comes to town. Brad will do a live, will be doing at least one live stream or more in Toronto. And that is where we should definitely see um, maybe 100, 100 viewers. Let's get closer to the water. Once upon a city, happy Easter. You work today, but thanks for dropping by. Once upon a city, so great to see you. Once upon a city in the house. Upon a city, I just saw this. Thank you so very much for the uh, generous super thanks um, on that rain video, Once Upon a City. So great to see you. Thank you so very much for your incredible support, Once Upon a City. Um, picture yourself sitting on that giant log here. Happy Easter, happy... Yeah, it sure is, Bob. This is the one of the places where even 
in the dead of winter, this is one of the places where you, you could still see, uh, hopefully I don't wipe out here. There's some mud here. Once upon a city, thank you so very much for another generous super chat. Five dollar super sticker. Once upon a city, can't thank you enough for your incredible generosity. And wow, once upon a city, really appreciate you very much. And so glad that we can see you in the chats today, even though you're working. Once upon a city, thank you very much, kitty cat. Yeah, Bob, I remember the secret beach. I don't know what I was thinking because I literally could have wiped out easily there. Joe Collins, happy Easter weekend. Paula Hicks, our resident hairstylist, great to see you here. Yeah, this is pretty much the way it usually is, that bike. It's usually like this, here. Now, nah, maybe it'd be stupid of me to do. Yeah, this isn't, it wouldn't be smart of me. The walking gods look out for me, Bob. Uh, I'm sure they have because what I did at Secret Beach is not something I should I have ever done or, but I did it anyway. We did it, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it again. The gods were definitely looking out. The walking gods uh, could have easily split my head open. I almost slipped on one of the rocks and Doing great, Joe. How are you doing, brother? Again, there is a Zoom meeting today at three. If you, for members, if you'd like to join, it'll be great to see you all. Nothing serious, we just hang out and chat. One thing I like about Zoom, um, Hopefully, hopefully if we get sunny, we'll find a nice place outside where obviously a private place too. We'll welcome back, Paulo. Yeah, right now we're at Wilkett Creek Park. So Edward Gardens connects to it. Somebody left their uh, trash here. Yes, uh, Joel. I'll put the members post. Uh, uh, I'll put the uh, members post uh, after. Yeah, today is 3 p.m. I'll put the link there too. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Fun just hanging out. Yes, bike. I do like. I do watch Marsh Madness. Yeah, absolutely. See, this is Brad's kind of place for sure, I know. This would be Brad's. Can you picture Brad Palmer sitting? Taking it all in, maybe making an ASMR nature video. I haven't. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put my predictions uh, on, on the next stream. Uh, I'll stream tomorrow. I'll put my. I'll say my predictions tomorrow. Yeah, Jane, it's very rude in a nature place, especially leaving their, their stupid trash here. Trash people leaving trash. Been away for a week, been doing um, discovery with insurance lawyers. Go. Cool. Yeah, Brad Creek Picker. I could definitely see this, this is nature. 
superstar Brad. Upstate New York Bob, thank you very much for the generous survivor for the tip jar. Very kind of you, very generous tip. Hey, cheers. Thank you for the phenomenal support. Upstate New York Bob, my goodness. Jenna here, uh, you do, I don't know how you do it every time, Bob. Thanks again to Jane as well. Jane and um, Once Upon a City and Upstate New York Bob. There's a Sasquatch running the background, Marie. Oh no, Bigfoot. Great to see you, Jenna. Yeah, so if you're wondering, the next stream will be tomorrow afternoon. I don't know what time. Sometime in the afternoon or something like that. Ah, just hit the notification bell. And, and John Barrientos. So, so far, John Barrientos. Me and John Barrientos. And we'll see which more of a Triple T friends. Estelle needs some advice. On uh, IG. So if anyone uh, can help us sell. Uh, I almost kind of just want to stay here. Because. I think this will be the best part. If we keep walking on the trail. I mean. You, I mean we, we will. But. Oh no way Brad. Brad with the generous fiver. It's raining five today. Thank you very much, Brad, for your phenomenal support and thank you for being an inspiration that you are, Brad. You're an inspiration, Brad, with all the hard work you put in and amazing content on your channel. Thank you very much, Brad Palmer. Obviously, you along with, it's always fun watching you, Marie and Dexter. Sometimes you go solo, but Brad, thank you for inspiring, uh, definitely inspiring me and a lot of us. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, <laughs> Joe, it, isn't that the question? The 15 Pro Max or the Samsung S24 Ultra? It depends what you're gonna use it for, uh, Joe. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with both. The S24 Ultra definitely um, has stepped up the game for pictures. When it comes to video though, the 15 and even low light video, 15 Pro Max still beats out uh, the S24 Ultra, but in a lot of ways, uh, I don't know, you can't really go, maybe it just depends on which operating system you like better, uh, Android or iOS. You're making a hiking video today, right on Brad. Thank you so very much again, Brad Palmer. So I know I've been smoking my brains out here, but I think I'd like to maybe have a, another one here. W, oh my gosh, Mary. What an extremely generous $13.99. Thank you, Henry, for the beautiful video. Well, Mary, thank you so much for the very generous super chat and all your wonderful positivity. Thank you so very much, Mary W. My goodness. I promise this will be the last uh, smoke. I just kind of nice wipe by the water here. Brad will be making a hiking video today. Brad will be back at it here. Hopefully the weather is nice for you. We're all covered by not a blue. Where's the blue? Not even a peak of blue. What is going on here? Thank you so very much, Mary. Our dear friend, Mary. Somebody left their Tim Hortons. Hey Jane, this is, why did people leave their, come on man. They're too lazy to go find, um, they have recycling and bins here and. I promise, this is the last smoke break, I promise, I promise. I just can't help myself right here with the sound of the water. I promise. Yeah, trash people bike. 
trash. Unfortunately, uh, not all nature lovers uh, are cool. There's sometimes the, the punks that come here just trash the place. I got the Starbucks, Joel. But I won't be leaving my Starbucks here. It's all mucky. You see, it's spilled. Probably got on my clothes too. Yes, a Mark Crystal Kitty Cat. Yeah, gotta love the sounds here. Yeah, be careful with that bike. You don't know how. It's good that you. I get tempted to too, but sometimes gotta pick your battles and. Try to be nice about it at first, but Jenna, we're in Wilkett Creek Park, which is uh, connected to Edwards Gardens. I know, Joyce, it sure is a nice sound. <sighs> yeah, Bob, but. Uh, I don't think I spilt any on my clothes though. It looks looks like I haven't spilt any, so thank goodness. Excuse me. Orphan Annie, good morning to you. Orphan Annie in the house. Yeah, it sure is a nice little spot here, Joel. Nice. Be a nice spot to sit. Um, Like cities that have big open spaces. <sighs> to vanish for a while, says Jenna. And this will be a place for sure. Yeah, bike, um, I, Rouge. We talk about Rouge National Urban Park. A very old truck hidden. It's very frustrating trying to stream through there. I've tried numerous times before. And uh, I think it would have to be a video. I've tried numerous times before. Unfortunately, uh, as nice as it is. That would have to be a recorded video. It's too much of a streaming, uh, you know, just buffering once you know like when we were in Scarborough Bluffs there was some buffering but there was only lasted a few seconds at Rouge the buffering could be uh, very 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 bad Orphan Annie maybe have a lot of chocolate bunny shaped chocolate uh, Orphan Annie happy Easter the low level fog again, Bob. Where's London fog? Oh, it's Nancy Madison in the chat. Na hey, Nancy. Wouldn't this be Lost Girl vibes? Yeah, Nancy, sure is a beautiful place. Let me show you the water again. Great to see you, Nancy. Bob was mentioning your Hollywood. Because uh, Jane mentioned that um, uh, a, a Toronto actor, I guess she's very... Um, um, a Toronto actor. Uh, um, what's her name? Uh, Diana uh, Aguilar. Did you see him, uh, her on Walking with Ken, Nancy? Oh, you found Diane's channel uh, to Jane. Her Sofia Vergara, Vergara impression is hilarious. Yeah, it's, they definitely clicked well. Um, 
Diane and Ken walking and I'm sure there'll be more walks. They'll be doing more walk together. She definitely seems like a fun person. Jane, I try to recycle everything. I just scrubbed out a potato chip bag. I'm so into trying saving the planet. The good, that's that's a great thing, Jane. Great thing you're doing. Oh, some bird watchers. See, they got the heavy duty. Jane doing her part for the environment. Oh, uh, Nancy said Diane Aguilar. Aguilar. Yes. Sounds good, bike. You're going to make a video there? Yeah, I, I really love walking there. Rouge National Urban Park or Rouge Hill. Oh, okay. Have a wonderful um, Good Friday, Chris and Steve. I, I don't think I'll be on for the next hour. Wow, that's great that she responds, Jane, to messages too, IG messages. Even being um, a prominent um, actor. Gordon Freeman, thank you very much for the generous fiver. Wow, uh, Good Friday stream fun. Thanks very much, Gordon, for the amazing support. Really very much appreciated. Oh my God. We'll walk a little bit more here. Yeah, I definitely want to see more of the replay there. She definitely seemed like a very entertaining uh, walking companion. Yeah, Nancy, yeah. I mean, just the fact that she responded to Jane's messages, it's like she'll actually take the time uh you know sometimes some people let success get to their head but she seems very down to earth oh okay thank you jane you send me the link i'll definitely check it out jane i'm so i'm so sorry i'm so behind on messages um messages and emails and comments Thank you for all of you, my wonderful friends that left comments on the rain video. So I've got to get to risk. Yeah, Nancy. I hope so too. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't get harassment from the bad side of the industry, but she seems like she has a good hand on her shoulders that she'll be able to handle her business. It must be sweeps week that Ken is bringing out the guest stars, Bob. Yeah, a Toronto actor, uh, apparently a, a prominent Toronto actor. Yeah, Jenna, yeah, she seems like a sweet person, like uh, genuinely so. I don't know if you saw any of that, Bob, but yeah, that's, that's a really... Hey, Kurt Affair, good morning to you. Kurt in the house. Born and raised in Toronto, a uh, typical humble Canadian, John. Yeah, she definitely seems like a very, um... oh, look, is that a Robin? Let's zoom in there. I don't know if that's a Robin or, oh, is that a Cardinal? 
I think that's a cardinal. Hey, um, Cardinal Mark D and Mary W and all of your Brad Palmer, Marie Car uh, Palmer, Cardinal, all you Cardinal uh, lovers. That you can hear what put woodpecker Paula. Cardinal, I think that was a cardinal. Daniel, no, Daniel, you're too late. Yeah, we, that was at the beginning of the stream. Young and Eglinton, that was at the beginning of the stream. We walked from there to here at Edward Garden. Yeah, we, we started at Young and Eglinton. Oh. Yeah, just like John said, this is near Lawrence and Leslie. Yeah, crumble, beautiful. Um, I'll try and get you another shot here. Hey, Cardinal. So only when, only when the Blue Jays play the St. Louis Cardinals, that's the only time we'd like to see the Blue Jays, a Bob, we and Blue Jay fans. We want to see the Blue Jays take down the Cardinal. We saw some lovely Blue Jays on Brad's premiere. Uh, recently, where did that cardinal go? Oh, it's... Yeah, uh, Daniel, this is um, Wilkit, uh, the Wilkit Creek Trail. It sure is beautiful, beautiful place to stroll. This is um, an Edward Gardens Botanical Gardens. It's uh, Mary W's favorite place, a uh, favorite park. Sorry, I. Oh, at least some friendly, uh, friendly people. I see, what's that red thing over there? Oh, I don't know. You have a cardinal couple that shows up every so often, Jane. I'd love to see that. I don't know, I, I don't know, um... I'd love to see a cardinal couple and get a nice shot. Yeah, you know what? And when I did that nature uh, that um, nature video at the Brickworks, which again I'll, I'll mention, I'll post it in a couple of days. I think on Sunday for uh, members. I saw a couple of cardinals too, but uh, I unfortunately scared them away. I should have used the zoom. Oh, Jane, did you get a snap? Sure, I'd love to see a pic, Jane. Really, thanks very much for that. Jelly Bean in the house. Great to see you, Jelly Bean. Uh, Nancy says, I was worried about the Lost Girl cast in the beginning because of the love scene nudity. I only pray no one was pressured into any of it and was supported without doing what to be comfortable. Well, hopefully this long weekend, Nancy, I should be able to see some of the lost girl. Hi. You see what I mean? Most, for the most part, nature people are very friendly, and people who uh, in nature. I know, you know, if you were in nature, you people will actually make eye contact and say hello. Orphan Annie says we have a burning park local that looks similar. That must be a beautiful place too. Thanks for letting us know. Jane says the falcon falcon killed a dove. Oh no. All the birds were yelling at him. The animal kingdom was on your yard, Jane. My goodness. It's almost like a ravine, sort of like a You love bluebirds, Jenna. Marga, have you been out? Yeah, it does feel a little bit cold. Not for me, but I, I'm just thinking of, um, for most folks. Oh, hey, we can go, we don't have to take the main, we can go closer to the water here. Just make sure I don't wipe out here. Yeah, I seen those, those nesting cams, Jenna, those 24 hour, um, like bald eagles.
Oh, shoot. I don't think I should keep walking here. I almost, not very smart of me. Whoops. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle anyone. Ha, <laughs> jelly bean. Hopefully we don't need the swear jar today. Yeah, it would have been an FFS had I wiped out. Even if I had my boots, I don't think that would have made any difference. Uh, it's very muddy. You like owls, Jenna? Mary W. Mary W. loves owls. Thank you again, Mary W. for the amazing support. Mary and Brad Palmer and Gordon Freeman. All of our friends, Upstate New York Bob and... Jane for the amazing support. Uh, I better not have missed anyone. See, that's the problem. If I start doing that, I have to. Good morning, Chris. Great to see you here. Oh, no way, Dirk. Thank you very much, Dirk. Oh my gosh. Amazing supporter. 599 euros. Thank you very much for the generous super sticker, Dirk. Our wonderful friend from Germany. Thank you very much, Dirk. Dirk G. Thanks very kindly, Dirk. And looking forward to seeing you on Zoom today. And it was thanks to Dirk, actually. Dirk uh, helped me come up with the idea for the Zoom, which is, I think, kind of unique. I don't know if, I don't think anyone else is doing it. So yeah, we can just hang out, chit chat. I hope it becomes nicer because I do want to find a nice place, maybe find a nice nature spot. British Virgin Islands. Yeah, we'll do it for sure sometime, Chris. Oh. So if you're, if you're a nature lover, there are, I've got a members video coming up. In a couple of days, a really nice nature walk and evergreen brickworks as well as the part of the Beltline Trail. Really, really beautiful ravine. We have multi-million dollar homes sitting on top of those ravines. Yeah, I think it's uh, something different and I think it's a really great idea, Chatty Cathy. Thank you again, Dirk. And we can just all hang out and we can speak. It'll be confidential. Confidentiality is very important for me. And that's why when I've been asked about StreamYard, the problem with StreamYard is I don't want to live stream that kind of, you know, I don't want to live stream that kind of thing where we're, you know, if we're going to be talking about stuff that might be private, it should be only for, uh, whoever's participating in the Zoom call. That's why I wouldn't do StreamYard. That's why I think Zoom is good for that. Okay, here it's not as muddy as you can get closer to the water. Eventually, um, eventually this will lead, oh, interesting color here.
uh, eventually this will lead to um, where we walked by earlier, uh, right around Eglinton East and Leslie. Oh! I think I see some Lost Girl vibes here. Let's see if I can, if it's safe enough, walk up as close to the water as possible. Although, I have to play, play leapfrog with these rocks here. Nope. Okay, uh, I guess maybe not. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle. Um, oh. You're, you're more than welcome, Joycey. It's my pleasure. Humber River from Toronto to Calden. <laughs> that would be uh, quite the walk there, Chris, but definitely, uh, I definitely uh, noted. Humber River to Calden. Mary, I'm, I hope we get to see frogs. I really like frogs and Jane likes frogs. That would be that would be great if we could see some frogs. Bob, I almost wiped out there. Oh, oh. Wait, wait for these people to go. You like kayak kayaking? You don't really like canoeing, Chatty Kathy? I don't know if I could do it solo because that would make my arms very, very tired. If I had some friends. Um, yeah, Mary, I'll have to be more smarter and more careful. I'll have... I guess y'all don't want to wipe out on the stream. Matt Bross in the house. Great to see you, Matt. Breakfast with Henry and fans, Matt. I haven't had breakfast yet, actually. I wish I could do it on a stream, but I don't know how to say it without too much information. Uh, Probably best that I don't. I think I'll just grab a couple of treats. Uh, thanks to Jane. So get some treats after. Get some treats. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be able to do it on the stream. I'll have to take it home because thankfully I don't live that far. Actually, pretty close, actually, but I, don't, well, I guess I won't get too deep because, like I said, to crumble, I am a private person, too. But I do live pretty close, not far from here at all. But I'll have to get, um, to take some home. And thank you again, Jane, for treating me to treats. Which was that super chat was for. And thank you all again for the super chats and super stickers. I'm trying to see for Mary and friends if there's any frogs. I'd love to see some frogs. Some frogs. Uh, yeah, so without too much information, uh, guess why? Uh, <laughs> uh, full English, Jenna? Absolutely. Come on, Doge Joe. Crumble, do you like the hot crust buns? Uh, lots of them are right now for Easter. Yeah, those sound, sure sound great. Chris says kayaking is easy. I took your neighbor who had proud. Went from Cherry Beach to Toronto Island. Yeah, but what about going solo? Uh, Cause I'm not in the best shape of my life. Um, last, I'm trying to get to like last summer back in that sh um, weight class and shape. Maybe in that case, I, I, but I'll definitely, 
We'll definitely go kayaking with a few friends tonight. I mean, I mean, uh, at some point. What am I saying? At some point. Jane says, if you win the Lotto Max tonight, how much is it, Jane? Is it now 30 million? You'll move back tomorrow. You'll be able to have a, a, a penthouse, a sweet ass penthouse, all by yourself. Yeah. Where where would you like to be, Jane, if you won? Where would you like to be in Toronto? Where where in Toronto would you? So many fantastic neighborhoods. Yeah, John Barriento, thank you again. Because Kurt letting Joel know that John Barriento had generously, generously gifted Kurt um, a membership. Ah, you wouldn't have to worry about... You could buy the whole thing in cash, Jane. You'd be able to buy the whole thing in cash. You'd only have to pay the maintenance fees if you were to go to a condo. Or would you go to a house? You gotta have a whole house by yourself. If you have a house, you don't have to pay the maintenance fees. Just property tax and every once in a while, some fix, if something needs fixing. Hello, Miss Lobo Bob. Great to see you here. Um, Joel says Humber Bay. That's a fantastic choice. St. Lawrence Market area. That is an that is a really fantastic choice, Jane. I don't think I could pick a much better area than that. St. Lawrence Market area. I wish I could get closer for y'all, but yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, Humber Bay Shores would be a great option as well. It's a bit of a waste to get to downtown, but you would, if you had all that money, excess money, you could easily just Uber or Lyft anytime. And you got pets too, Jane. Well, good luck. And that reminds me, yeah, maybe I should get a, a Lotto Max ticket. Maybe I should get a Lotto Max ticket. Um, that's right, Matt. Uh, Ontario does not tax lottery winnings like in the U.S. Yep, that's true. Whatever the amount is, you keep that amount. Or unless whatever you're making, if you're making any money off of that, then that story. Joel says Nova Scotia never wins Lotto Max. I don't know. Um, I've seen a lot of these small towns. Um, you know, a lot of small towns. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of small towns win these uh, big uh, these big jackpots. Okay, my, uh, you know, you figure Toronto, uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of these small, the small towns get the jackpots. It's fakey fake, great to see you, fakey fake. Powerball 953 million, so even with taxes off, that would still be what around 500 million oh my god that's more money than we can even think to do what to do with i think the lot of max is at 30 or 35 million or something like that i mean that's still I mean, you can really do some things thanks for the information uh matt All right, oh Brad, um, 
You're gonna hike up three Terra Drive, Brad. Brad, superstar Brad Palmer. Thank you so very much, Brad, again, for the support and for being an inspiration, Brad, and can't wait to see what the, uh, the amazing hike that you come up with, Brad Palmer. Great, great to see your fakey face. I see. It is an Easter long weekend here. It's Good Friday. I don't know why there's a single solitary glove here. One thing I do see a lot of is these random uh, people leave random uh, boots and shoes. I've seen that a lot of times. So we'll be thinking of everyone. Oh, is it 40 million? It's 40 million. Oh, I'll take 20 million and let somebody else win. Maybe one of you, maybe one of you friends. Maybe we'll each win 20 million. Make sure if you win that big jackpot, you sock away a lot of that money. Sock it away. You don't need all, you only need a fraction of that. And you even 40 million, you sock away uh maybe 30 million at least you still have 10 million i <laughs> i just got a thumbs up a random thumbs up from someone i guess who's photographing here you see that too a random shoe glove mara sorry guys for our first buffering that's very nice of you, Jane. Yeah, and also, that's one thing. When you have that kind of uh, winnings, definitely it would be a good thing to uh, donate, do some donations, help out. Uh... Okay, sorry, guys. Uh... Yeah, that's a great thing, Jane. Because that's what a lot of folks who are rich, who are have a lot of money uh, oh, very thoughtful of you Jane Jane doing the right thing if you win your millions of dollars sorry guys um, I hope this works because I've tried I've tried Bell 4G and 5G. I've tried Rogers 4G. Now we're on the uh, Rogers 5G. Let's hope this holds up here. Another example why it is beneficial to have multiple lines here. I'm using the Rogers 5G, which seems to be working just well. Hopefully the chats didn't get stuck. One of my wonderful friends can put something in the chat. Let me know so I can know that. The last chat I see is Mark saying, Hey, Nancy, with the Cardinal. Shucks, I think my chat is frozen. Shucks. I'll give it a few minutes. That's what happens when it buffers with the chat on my prism. So sorry, I won't be able to respond. Luckily, the internet's holding up with the Rogers 5G. Just wait for these uh, folks to... Hopefully the chats come back before I end the stream. They should come back in a few minutes. All right. But remember, we were up there uh, on our way to walk. To Edwards Gardens. Uh, if there's something, uh, I don't know if one of my awesome friends can DM me if if there's a, a message, important message.
Sorry guys, it's just gonna buffer for a few seconds. I just have to check, uh, go into the YouTube app here. Oh, there we go, Jane. Jane, uh, Jane, uh, you worked some magic here. Jane bringing the chats back to life. So the chats are back. Usually it takes a few minutes, five to 10, 10 minutes. But Jane, I see that Jane says, oh, seriously, Nancy. Sorry, I didn't see the comment that was before. So I hope nothing, I hope Nancy's okay. Our dear friend, Nancy Mattis. Yeah, you brought the luck this time, Jane. When we were at Scarborough Bluffs the other day with John, ba the amazing John Barrientos and Sapan and uh, Vasily Reeboks Pro, Marie Palmer three times brought the chats back, and now Jane brought the chat, and you brought it back very quickly. I mean, this time it was very quick. Shall we go up the stairs? We go up the stairs. But remember, we were. Let's go up the stairs. Yeah, Marie Palmer, that was a record. That was a record. That never happened before. Three times. Thank goodness, because that was the Scarborough Bluffs, too. That would not. Rescuing the chats. Oh, I don't think I'll take the stairs. I think I'll just go this way instead. I think it'll be easier. Yeah, I think this will be easier than the stairs. For me, anyways. Oh. Oh. Let's see if there's a pot of gold up here. Oh. Oh, my God. Quite exhilarating. Yeah, I always have fun walking with Marg and we'll definitely walk again. Look forward to walking with Marg. And uh, those stairs have been seen better days, uh, Kurt. I gotta catch my breath here. Oh, looks like you can kind of get walk in the woods here in the forest. Yeah, Bob, at this point, I don't know if there are even stairs at all. Oh, boy. I don't think I can go way up there. Not until I get my fat ass back in shape. Oh, forget about it. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll come back in the summertime. A trillion park walk when it's warmer, Mark. Absolutely. Absolutely. That will be wonderful. Too bad they closed off so much of it, but at least we'll be able to see, get to walk a, a decent portion of Trillium Park. Mar, yeah, you got, Mar, Mar got a lot of compliments about her hair. Yeah, John, they have a, a great vendors there. Mark D is gonna go back because when you get a per ticket, as long as you put your real name, you can, well, I don't think they're going to check ID anyway. I don't, but anyway, you can go back and I know Jerry L is going to go tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think these are very, the safest, they, uh, these stairs. Yeah, Jane, yeah, block that, block that trash person. That's right on, Jane. Jane doesn't take any crap. I'm gonna block that idiot. Yeah. Probably safer to do what I did. But you still have to be careful, but there should be a sign, Mr. Wobob. Otherwise, the city could be liable. 
possibly liable. Yeah, here at Triple T, we won't take any crap. I've kicked out a lot of people from here, <laughs> even on the stream, uh, and I didn't, I didn't, I could care less, even if I humiliated them. And then when you see on other streams, they won't say a, a peep to me. <laughs> when I come in the chat and some other stream, and then all of a sudden, they're quiet as a mouse. A stream within a stream. But you could start hearing cars in the background because uh, we're we're pretty close to Eglinton East and uh, Leslie. I'll probably uh, I'll probably end the stream once I get up to street level again. Yeah, Jenna. Yeah, we get some rude biatches and I kick them out. There have been a lot of times, even on the stream, I kick them out. I've lost count how many trash I've taken out. I've taken out a lot of trash. Which way you can go? Um, <laughs> Kurt, Miss Lobo Bob. Yeah, you can bet you. Nobody's gonna. Uh, nobody's gonna stir up any trouble here. I've had people here before who try to form clicks, and that ain't gonna happen here. And trying to form clicks and trying. Uh, uh, people, uh, friends against friends here. Richie Vegas, welcome. Thank you for join, joining the chats. Welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Richie, you grew up here 30 year, for 30 years, Richie. Thanks for sharing with us. Oh, you live at Bathurst and Finch. Well, you know what, Richie? If Last year during the winter storm uh, at Bathurst and Finch, we passed by Bathurst and Finch. We passed by ba Bathurst and Finch during last year's uh, winter storm and there was a Tim Hortons open. There was a Tim Hortons open. You'd bike ride by High Park and right down the islands, Richie. Yeah, last year during the winter storm, uh, Bathurst and Finch, that uh, Tim Hortons was actually open at Tim A's. Your mom still lives here. All right, thanks for sharing with us. Oh, okay, Jane. Yeah, hopefully mods on other channels will, will do the right thing. But some of these trash I kicked out are you see on other streams, it's hilarious. Yeah, exactly, Bob. We take out one trash and we get 10 uh, treasures. I'll take that trade any day. Oh, you did the same, Nancy. All the snow covered, all the trash. And so people threw out more trash out of their cars, Nancy. Oh my goodness. I know you and Bob got a ton of snow, Nancy and Bob, a ton of snow, more than a, more than a feet of snow. Wow. Uh, Richie, uh, this is, I don't know if we're still at Wilkett Creek Park. I think it's still Wilkett Creek Park.
snow was gone within two days, Bob. We were, uh, Richie, we were at the Edwards Garden, the Edwards Gardens, Toronto Botanical Gardens. And then we walked the trails and then we ended up at Wilkett Trail. I don't even know if I can jump over this thing here. I'll go over on the side. Oh, shoot. Oh, this guy scared me. <laughs> I shouldn't be scared. It's a friendly dog. Hey, buddy. <laughs> there he or she goes. I, I just heard footsteps all of a sudden. Oh, you were bird watch? Yeah, Richie, there have been, we've seen quite a few bird watchers here, yes. I, um, we just see a cardinal. That, that dog is full of life, full of verb, really enthusiastic about just being out here. You still have a foot there, Nancy. Oh my gosh, so maybe Nancy ended up getting more snow than, oh. Uh, I forget where this leads to eventually. Uh, I should know this, I've been here. It's not like I haven't been here before. But on YouTube though, I think this is the first time you've been out here on YouTube though. I think this is the first time. Oh, Miss Lobo Bob, away with the ticks. Away with the ticks, those nasty ticks. Away with the ticks. You think we'll see carp in the water, Richie? Even now? Haven't seen any carp. Maybe, maybe in this part of the stream, that would be awesome. And I know Mary was mentioning turtles. I think we'll see carps. Uh, so do do they come? Uh, so they come. There any carps? Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, the Humber River. Okay, Richie, yeah, maybe not here. The Humber River. Well, yeah, glad you can join us. You have a spot, soft spot for turtles, Jenna. Yeah, as do I. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it looks like we're coming up to a parking lot. Yeah, Jane, you love turtles too. We're all teenage mutant ninja turtles. Anyone got a favorite of pizza eating ninja, uh, those turtles? Somebody wants to rock their music out here. Um, uh, blah, 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 we were talking about, oh yeah, yeah, turtles, yes. I love turtles. I used to have a pet turtle. I used to have a pet turtle. Unfortunately, I can't say the name because I use, I use, that's one of my security questions <laughs> for my, and tor tortoise, we great, great grandkids ended, ending raising the tor tortoise in the golden years. Oh, cyclist. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. A young lad. Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, Leonardo. It's Lobo Bob. Hey, uh, Vasily Rebox Pro. Great to see you. Uh, I think I'm just about to end the stream. Hopefully there's a washroom here. Uh, not that I would have to go, but it would be nice if there was a washroom here. Hopefully a decently clean one. 
unless there's more of the trail we can go but i don't think that, i think that's about it sunnybrook hospital along and does this connect the sunnybrook hospital and york university glendon college john barrientes oh in that case maybe we should continue on but thanks very much for sharing that jane uh, turtles and tortoise you know what we'll we'll definitely be going to the zoo this year so john if you're up for that and you know of course liam and japan i don't know if the trail keeps going uh vasili um just not sure where oh i guess you'd have to go i guess you have to go that way Oh yeah, Sunnybrook Park, like John said, Sunnybrook Park. I mean, if the trail continues, we can. Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad to hear that, Nancy. Thank you very much. Even when I don't, I know even when I don't mean it, sometimes unintentional, unintentional. So looks like I spoke on memories of. Yeah. Sorry about that guys, um, yeah there's too much buffering here. Sorry guys, too much buffering here, I think we'll have to end the stream. Uh, I think I'll end the stream now, um, although it seems to be okay now. But thank you all so very much. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful support. Uh, what a very enjoyable uh, Good Friday walk with you, my amazing friends. Um, thank you, thank you. Big, big shouts out to all of my friends who send support. Uh, it really means, uh, it really means a lot. Thank you so very much. Um, um, uh, Jane, I definitely get some treats uh, after the stream. Thanks to you, Jane, and oops. And uh, Dirk G, Dirk G, Upstate New York Bob, Brad Palmer, um, Gordon Freeman, uh, Mary W. Thank you for the phenomenal support. Uh, if I missed, uh, if I missed you, please don't be mad at me. Um, oh shoot! But thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. What an enjoyable uh, nature walk we had here. Um, hmm. Uh, see you at uh, the members uh, Zoom. See you at the members Zoom meeting at 3 p.m. I'll put the members post up. So have a wonderful day, Mary. Stay, we'll be safe and wholesome. I like that, uh, Jane. I like that a lot. Nancy Mattis. Um, upstate New York, Bob and Dirk G, Paula, Miss Lobo, Bob and Vasily, John Barrientos. We'll be in touch, John. We'll see you uh, definitely about tomorrow. Crumble, Mark D, and all of you, my amazing friends. Uh, Marie Palmer. All right. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful um, Good Friday and Easter long weekend. Fair, that's the, take it easy, Kurt. And I'll talk to you. I'll get in touch with you, John. Oh, uh, Vasily, thank you so much. 
thank you so much, Vasily, for becoming a Welcome to Channel Membership, Rebox Pro. And you'll definitely enjoy exclusive uh, member benefits, uh, members' videos, members' live streams, and a monthly Zoom meet. Have a great long weekend, Jane. Stay or out of town. Out of town? I'm not sure about Sunday, but yeah, that's the plan. So, Dirk G, thank, thank you very much, Dirk. Yeah. All right. Much love and respect. Love you all very much.